Hi, I'm back for more with the Cubex Duo. So what I was going to do right now, I've got a clear platen and I was about to start um, growing a product. Uh, here you can see I, in my workstation I've got a little thing. It says it's 81.9 degrees here in uh, Southern California with 29% uh, humidity here. I've just been keeping track of that. Uh, you can see my gorgeously uh, organized uh, tool spot. Anyway, this is the product that they use for glue. Um, they call it the Magic Cubex Glue for the Cubex 3D printer. It's got a date on the back, uh, April 11th, 2013 for this particular one. And basically, I'm just, just going to show you my technique for gluing right now from what I've learned from, uh, I guess I'll call them friends, people I've met on the, online with different um, boards, uh, message boards and blogs and things like that, message groups, Google groups. Um, so from Rick I kind of learned um, not to squeeze too much with the glue and then um, basically just starting, uh, I start in the center and just do kind of consecutive rings out to a certain point just barely squeezing it all with the uh, uh, glue bottle. Then I kind of work my outsides because I happen to know the shape of this uh, particular grow. Uh, I've done it several times. Uh, I'm getting, hopefully this one will come out just perfect. Um, I'm just doing a thin little coat all the way around and that should do me. Uh, I'm just making sure I don't have any other big chunks. Um, I'm gonna now put this aside uh, and put the cap back on it. So there that goes. It came with two bottles because I have a duo. Um, and you can kind of see the sheen uh, as it glues on there. Um, I then come up to my menu here and I'm just going to hit the print button. Uh, you probably can't see that too much. And uh, I'm just picking a file that I happen to be having growing. Um, some people home, which then takes the uh, print jet heads and puts it into the back left corner. Um, and it brings the plate up. Um, however, I stopped doing that. They said it wasn't really necessary when I spoke to them. And you can kind of see the glue. It's, it's starting to dry a little bit. And um, yeah, that's about it. As soon as it loads the file, this one happens to be pretty big, it will um, raise it up into the correct position and begin heating the head and then start printing. Hopefully it will stick. So this is going, at the very bottom you can kind of see that it's heating the head, it's just about to 250 degrees Celsius. And I don't know if you can see the uh, sheen, the glue has dried just a little bit more. And there it goes, it is starting to print the first layer. So all I can say is, this is where you, you hope that it comes out. It looks like my Z gap is a little low, I'm guessing, because of the way um, the PLA plastic has spread out quite a bit. Uh, it's printing in white, so you're probably having a difficult time seeing it. Um, hopefully, we'll let it go a little bit and see what happens. Um, you know, obviously, hope that the first layer sticks and uh, then it works out. Thanks for watching. Bye.